Girl, I might just have to cancel my lash extension appointment. Hey guys, it's Joyce, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, today I will be doing a first impression and review of Glamnetic. This will be a two-part video because in this video, I will be testing out their magnetic eyelashes, and in the next video, I will be testing out their press-on nails. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is shake the liner before every application. You have to apply two to three layers for maximum hold and as needed for your desired liner shape and then wait about 30 to 60 seconds and apply the lash to the liner. I don't know why but I've been putting on eyeliner ever since middle school but doing it on camera is just so different because there's just so much pressure so I really made sure to get it nice and sharp. I'm taking my lash applicator tool for a precise application and I'm going to remove the lash anchors from the lash band. Something I want to mention is that because Glamnetic is a magnetic lash brand, it eliminates the need for lash glue, meaning there's no mess or damaged lashes and it makes it so easy to apply falsies within seconds. Each lash comes with six magnets for extra hold and they can be worn up to 60 times which can save you so much money in the long run. In order to apply, you want to place the anchor underneath your natural lash and near a magnet on the lash band. The anchor should snap into place, sandwiching your natural lashes in between, and these lash anchors help secure the inner and outer corner of the lash. So just like the name of these lashes, I'm feeling very luxurious right now. I feel like I can go out for dinner um, or just run errands, you know, if you want full glam. I can't stop staring at my viewfinder right now because I'm looking at my lashes and it looks so dang good. Okay, keep in mind that the style that I'm wearing right now, Lux, is the most dramatic style that I chose for myself. So moving forward, they will be much more natural looking. So the next style that I'm wearing is called Cutie and she definitely is a cutie because these are kind of very similar to the ones that I wear on a daily basis. So my first impression so far are these lashes are incredible. Like, you know the TikTok where it's like, the girl was too shocked to speak? Yeah, that's me right now. I almost want to say where have these been all my life, but I want to wait to see how long they last and I want to wear it throughout the day to see if they actually have that holding power. So I think with the issue with magnetic lashes that I had in the past is that once I put them on, they look phenomenal, but then after 30 minutes of wearing them, the inner or outer corner would lift. Usually with my left eye, because that is my monolid, my other eyes is like more of a double lid. So within the inner corner, there would be a lot of contact between the lash and then my eyelids. What's great about Glamnetic is that they provide you with something called anchors, which are tiny little magnets that you would put in the front and the back of your lash, which is amazing because especially if you're customizing your lashes and you're cutting them, you want them to have extra holding power on those ends. Okay, so I know that I said I loved the previous lash, but I think I'm in love with Miss Princess more just because I am obsessed with the half lash look. That seems to be really trendy in the makeup community right now because it doesn't kind of close off your eyes and it makes your eyes a little bit more lifted looking. So half lashes for me i think are the move so i'm actually more confident in miss princess for holding up because she is a half lash so you know she has half the responsibilities so i'm actually going to switch over to cutie or lux to see if they can last the whole day so i'm putting her to the test hey guys good morning so this review is quickly going south because the style cutie i'm wearing right now you can probably tell from the way that i'm blinking is that the inner corner is lifting it refuses to hold on i've literally tried everything that i could reapply the eyeliner and it just won't stay intact so I'm gonna do something different and put on a new pair of the lashes. I'm just gonna give it another try. Literally, she's taking off. At this point, she refuses to stay on. 
Let's see, fingers crossed that these actually hold up throughout the day, maybe more than 20 minutes. We'll see. Hey guys, it is about 11 p.m. here, so I am doing my end of the day check-in. Um, since the last clip, I did put on a brand new pair of lashes and they have actually helped a lot. They've held on pretty well. I will say that with this inner corner, it's still intact, but the magnet is definitely really weak there because if I tugged on it just a little, the lash would lift up. It's not the end of the world, but considering that these are brand new and I've only worn them once, and this is kind of what the durability looks like, is a little bit concerning. These lashes, you're supposed to be able to wear for 60 wears, and I haven't been able to do it past two okay so this is me testing out the lash but this time i'm wearing this style princess i did sweat a lot on my face so i did notice that the liner kind of separated a bit and there's this weird brown stain on my eyelids but for the most part she held on pretty well throughout the day i'm even pulling my lashes to show you how strong they are and honestly at this point you guys should just like and subscribe right now because i'm stretching my eyelid skin for this review all right so let's talk about the eyeliner Within the first application, it was very nice, but then once you start adding layers on top of it, it kind of starts to break up the eyeliner and become very streaky and not very opaque as you'd want it to be. It wasn't very pigmented as well, especially as you continue to use the eyeliner multiple times. Obviously, when it's fresh out of the packaging, it is amazing, but then after using it literally maybe for the week, it started to lose its pigmentation really quickly. Um, it also left a brown stain on my eyelids. It could be that because I was sweating so that it separated, but... And last but not least, it was a little bit difficult to remove. I used a micellar water and also a oil-based cleansing balm to remove the eyeliner, and it definitely took a while for it to break up and remove from my face. That is just my personal experience, but let's move on to the magnetic lashes. So if you guys saw me wearing out the lashes throughout the week, you would notice that at first I fell in love with them. I thought they were so, so nice. But then after I tested them out further throughout the week, that kind of quickly went downhill simply because the magnetic lashes didn't hold up. I couldn't get them to stick onto my eyeliner. They were falling off, the inner and outer corner would just lift up in the middle of the day. Luckily, I didn't have to actually go outside or go to work as I was wearing these lashes and trying it out. But if I had a situation where my lashes did lift, I don't know how I would react to that because normally with traditional lash glue, you'd be able to reapply and put it back on with the glue. But if I use a magnetic eyeliner to retouch it and try to get to stick on again, it's not the same thing. It wouldn't hold up. So essentially, it was not very reliable in my case. Even after trying to use the anchors, what I did notice is that unless you had a lot of natural eyelashes on your eyes for the anchors to kind of hold on to, they're essentially pretty much useless at that point. If you have a similar eye shape to I do or Asian eyes, or you have a double eyelid and a mono eyelid, you might have the best chance using the half lashes. And I say that loosely because I tried it and then within the third attempt of using the half lashes, they lost its power. I do want to end off on a positive note though because I do think that these magnetic eyelashes are very, very innovative and they do happen to work for a lot of people out there. I just am unsure if they would work for me in the future. I also want to say that they have a lot of styles available on their website, so there is a bunch of variety, and these lashes are beautiful. Like when they are on my eyes, they look fantastic. I just wish there was a way for them to actually stay on my eyes. However, this is only my personal experience, so if you guys want to try out Glamnetic, I highly recommend that you do so. I have a coupon code down below for you guys to use. I know that this review kind of went downhill real quick, but I hope you guys appreciate my honesty. I do have hope in the company because because I will be trying out their press on nails. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go click on it, which is probably the next video that I post after this. So definitely like this video, subscribe if you found this helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.